Joining us now, two distinguished House members to help us out on these issues, Paul Tonko, Democrat from New York, David Schweiker, Republican from Arizona. David Schweiker, I go to you first. Is Robert Costa right? Is the debt deal going to be where the action is? Because you've got to have a CR. You've got to have a continuing resolution beginning October 1st. So far as I know, Speaker Boehner wants to keep the sequester in the continuing resolution. He's not going to give that up. And there's not mm -hmm. going to be a clean bill. There'll be more spending cuts there. What do you hear on the CR? Well, Let's start there. Well, well Larry, and, and hi, Paul. Um, I got to tell you, I think it may turn out to be hi more there. complicated than that. I know that is what the Speaker has laid out on the table. But now that Jack Lew and Treasury have moved back the date, um, or shall we say up the date, on hitting the debt ceiling, are you now looking at an environment where you're going to be seeing many of us say, let's do a, a total package? All right, one package. Paul Tonko, let me get your response to that, uh, if you may speak for the Democrats. But can it all be done in one package? Remember, Boehner is saying, and this is very important, Paul, Boehner has said any number of times, including a couple days ago before uh, some kind of Republican conference call, that he will keep the spending sequester caps. He has said that. President Obama desperately wants to get rid of the sequester spending caps to spend on his pet uh, projects. How is this going to work out? Well, let's hope that uh, we do the right thing here, Larry, and it's good to join you and Dave, my colleague and friend from uh, Arizona. Uh, look, we know what we have to do. Kicking the can down the road, in other words, a continuing resolution, uh, just avoids dealing with the issues at hand and creates yet another congressionally imposed uh, uh, crisis. Uh, America doesn't want that. What we uh, can do here is take the House version of a budget. The United States Senate has adopted its version of a budget. The president has issued a fiscal plan sent over to Congress. Uh, let's name the conferees. I encourage the leadership in the House to name conferees so we can come to the table, uh, deal with the situation that provides certainty for Americans businesses and for the middle income community and move forward with the budget that is sound and we can go uh, and on with business that is uh, absolutely essential right now. All right. Well, Dave Schreiker, there's another piece that I want to bring in, very important, and that is Obamacare, as you know. Now, over the weekend, Senator Ted Cruz said defunding Obamacare is not there. The votes aren't there. He's acknowledging that. He's going to continue his analysis and his uh, crusade, but that's not going to happen. However, Dave Schreiker, Republicans in the House and many in the Senate want to delay the individual mandate. And many believe that delay of the individual mandate should be part of either a continuing resolution and or a debt ceiling with some leverage. Yeah. What is your take on that? Can it happen? Well, well, and Will it go over to the Senate for a vote. Yeah, and Larry, you've got to be a little careful because you may be negotiating a little ahead of us right now. And, you know, Paul actually hit, hit sort of one of the points a lot of us are pushing for. There's a concept called an omnibus budget bill that we finally take our budgets because we need to fix our prioritization, our spending. We've been living on this continuing resolution insanity for four years now. It's time we lay out our priorities. And, yes, there's going to be headbutting because the Senate and the president are going to have different priorities than those of us in the Republican conference. Um, and, yes. Got to tell you, there's people like me that want to keep, absolutely keep the sequestration numbers. There's people like me that want to defund or actually change those priorities in Obamacare. But that's actually an opportunity that's coming up. Could you do that omnibus budget package and some solutions on the debt ceiling? And I will tell you, there's actually, you need to be a little more creative than we've been in both the way we prioritize the debt there are actually options well, out there. Well, okay, but, all right, but, um, Paul Tonko, Speaker Boehner has said again and again, and so has Eric Cantor, and I think I just heard Dave Schweiker say this. They don't want to shut down the government. They do not want to shut down the government. But that's the continuing resolution part. That's the discretionary spending part. Okay. The debt ceiling part is completely different. And as you know, Paul, a majority of Republicans in the House, a very large majority, and many in the Senate, and maybe some Democrats in the Senate up for election, they want to do something about Obamacare and the unfairness of the individual mandate, which uh, has no security to it. As you know, while the business mandate was put off a year, they want to delay the individual mandate. 
That vote is a very important vote. Can it be part of a debt deal? That's what I'm asking. I don't think it should be. Look, um, the president uh, who signed uh, the Affordable Care Act has been, since then, been reelected. The uh, highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, defended the law. Uh, they, they said it's, uh, it meets the, uh, the con constitutional test. Let us go on and get to the business of belt tightening, investing where we must after we cut where we can. And we need to do a sound budget here. We need to go forward and not continue to go forward with this repeal of the Affordable Care Act. You know, my district, I know that people want their right to accessible, affordable health care, quality health care. They don't want to repeal. They want improvement. So let's I, improve together. Right. I, I, I get, don't hear. I, I don't that. hear. I hear repeal. I don't no, hear. I get replace. It's delay. Dave Schreiker, I'm going to give you the last word. What's out there now as a matter of politics and policy is an effort to delay for at least a year the individual mandate, okay? There's no verification, there's no <laughs> firewall security, uh, the consumer uh, yeah. caps were removed, you know the story. There's an look, actually look, I can't good reason I... to delay. The question I'm yeah, asking Larry... you is, will the debt ceiling issue, will that be used as leverage to have a discussion or a vote on delaying the uh, individual mandate? That's what people are asking. Okay, Larry, I get this question all the time. How could the president do the a, extension for a year for businesses and not for individuals? But I need you to think a little bigger. At least as this begins, a lot of us are going to demand a lot more than just the delay of the individual mandate. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks, our Congressman Paul Tonko. We appreciate it. Why delay the Affordable Care Act when it cuts the deficit? Sorry? Wait, one more, last one? Well, well, and I, actually, why are you going to delay when you look the at who's modeling the numbers, actually, that's actually lunacy when you actually look what it ultimately does in the creation of entitlement. Right, I don't have, I don't have time, I don't have time to get there. But my, my interest is, look, I am opposed personally. I mean, I'm telling you, Wall Street financial markets, global financial markets, will go nuts as they did a couple of years ago, if there's a threat of a debt default, okay? Debt default, I'm telling you, is a non-starter financially, Absolutely. economically, I couldn't agree and, yeah, and Larry, no and one's I talking about I, default. I understand, but I'm just saying. We have to I plenty, see, don't mess with the credit worthiness of, of the United States. I see a interest obligation. I understand, but that argument doesn't work for more than a few days. I see a clash But, but you've got to stop on using the, that language because it's incorrect. No, it is correct. I don't have time to argue with no, you, but Dave Schreiker, I will tell you that 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 is completely incorrect. The government cannot finance itself one by one, day by day, the way that you guys are talking about. You can't one, do one it. One more time. The go back to some August 2011 I and did. look at the bond market and the it equity market. It was a market. catastrophe. bond market was amazingly stable. I understand, the but equity the stock market cracked what went up. And down. Down. The stock market cracked the up stock because market, that's the where the capital market. was not pulled the, out. That's where the capital was pulled out. It was never a but bond event. But if it's event. a default, it would be, it would be the debt markets. It's, so you got, you got something I wrong out there in the American family. America, you could default. America's families pay their bills. They expect their country to That's do the right. same Look, thing. You could cover the interest so let's get on, on debt, with the business of the budget. Right. You can't cover military spending. You can't cover veteran spending. You can't cover a million things. If I, I'll go through this arithmetic one more time this year, the way I did in 2011. I got to get out of here. I'm going to try it again. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Paul. Paul Tonko, we appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. It. Dave Schreiker, we appreciate See it. You, Dave. Folks, please don't forget tomorrow morning.